The death of 13 service members in Afghanistan marked one of the deadliest days in the war. And earlier, we showed you how El Paso County Commissioner's Court paid tribute to them during their weekly meeting. We're also seeing members of the community pay their respects in different ways. ABC7's Brianna Perez joins us live with the touching tribute. Brianna. Circulating across the country from bars and restaurants to highways, people are coming together to show their respects to those fallen service members in their own ways. I saw one post that um, I think in New York or somewhere did it and um, I called my management staff. I was like, hey, let's set up our front table, do the 13 beers and put up a memorial for them for uh, what they did over there for us. A table like this would usually be the first to go on a Saturday night, but the owner tells me how important it was to have it be the first thing people see when they enter the building. People stopped, took pictures and um, saluted it and the, the military people that you know, did come in that night, um, they thanked us for it. Shannon says the small gesture is something every business should have. Freedoms are very important to us as Americans, and it's something that um, those 13 men, they, they put their life on the line, and, you know, it was uh, a tragedy, but, you know, it's something that we, um, it doesn't go unseen or, or forgotten. Military spouse Jennifer Soto doesn't have a small business, but she is looking for another way to honor the fallen. With a display like the one she saw on social media at Camp Lejeune, she asked for military boot donations and they came. It's very sweet how everybody immediately started saying, I can help you, we can donate these. She says she's still looking for a location for the temporary memorial. Nothing's going to stop me. Even if I don't, I don't get the permission to do it here, I'm still going to do it outside my house. <laughs> so whatever I'm doing, it's, it's it's so little to compare to what they did. Garcia says she is hoping to set it at the Memorial Park, but as of now, she is still awaiting for the city to give her permission to place it there.